I will show you to my channel, uh, the outlier. In this section, we will be looking at the different elements that make up uh, data science. So from a 10,000 feet perspective, we will be uh, moving on to a 10 feet perspective. I wish to give you a closer perspective into uh, the world of data science and which are the different uh, elements that make up data science. Now, you might have always uh, heard of this expression that data science is a multidisciplinary approach. It basically means that uh, we are not looking at data science uh, from the perspective of one single monolith. Data science can be uh, split up into different components, into different uh, ideas. Uh, and these ideas uh, are what I'm trying to impress upon you in this particular slide. <clears throat> Let us look at the first and the most uh, important piece in the world of data science, uh, which is statistics. Now, as you all know, statistics is a very, very popular and a very versatile subject. It is used in different uh, fields to derive worth and value out of uh, the data set. Statistics is uh, the backbone of uh, data science, if I can uh, say that. And statistics has been around for the last 200 uh, plus years. Now, whenever you hear a person talk about uh, mean, median, mode, normality, or ANOVA, or t-test, or uh, Pearson's correlations, Pearman's rank correlation, time series analysis, autoregressive integrated moving average, factor analysis, cluster analysis, those things. The moment you hear a person saying uh, all these things, remember that uh, we are talking about statistics. Statistics has different uh, schools of thought within statistics. Uh, there is what is called as a frequentist approach and a Bayesian approach. These are all different schools of thought which can be used, which can be applied to derive uh, worth and value of the data set. So this is one of the most important elements in, uh, in data science. Uh, with this, let me just make a move on to the next uh, important element in the world of data science, and that is uh, computer science. Now, today, when we speak about, uh, when we speak about uh, addition tree or neural network uh, support with the machine and such things, please remember that uh, as far as the theory of uh, these uh, uh, algorithms are concerned, it was not written today. It was, it was uh, all the way uh, back 60 to 70 years back. For example, if you look at uh, Pitts and McCulloch, uh, McCulloch's uh, uh, earliest prototype of uh, neural network that was proposed uh, sometime in 1940s. If you look at uh, the Habian theory, again, it was proposed in uh, 1940s. Though the theory uh, was always uh, there, but the practical application uh, was missing. People could not apply these algorithms in a big way because our desktops were very, very weak during those days. Till such times as our desktops became very, very powerful, till such, till such time as our desktops became very uh, strong and powerful to operationalize uh, the theoretical aspects of neural network, decision tree, and uh, such algorithms, we could not uh, think of the practical applications of each of these things. Computer science in that sense of the world plays a very, very important element in uh, the world of data science. And that is the second most important and crucial piece as far as data science is concerned. Let's uh, move on to uh, the third uh, crucial uh, element here, which is uh, technology. Now, uh, imagine that uh, you walk into a retail uh, outlet. Let's say you walk into uh, uh, Reliance Fresh. <clears throat> and you ask uh, the person to give you monthly uh, transaction figure, you happen to take a printout of it, you will see the printout roll endlessly. Now, unless you have an Albert Einstein like mine, you will not be able to process uh, it. Uh, you can't take mean, median, mode, or you can't, you can't apply some of these statistical principles manually. Manually, you can't do the computation, and therefore you need the uh, you need uh, the help of technology to store the data, to analyze the data. You need technology in a big, big way uh, uh, because unless you use technology, it is not possible for you to process uh, large sums of data. So when we speak about RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, that goes back to 1960s, the concepts of uh, RDBMS and such things. OOPS concept, again, it's easily around uh, more than 30, 40 years uh, old, right? And finally, if you uh, think of Hadoop, uh, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, split up into HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System, which is basically uh, which is basically the storage unit of uh, Hadoop. How do you store uh, structured data, unstructured data within uh, the framework of Hadoop? 
uh, that is what HDFS speaks about. That is almost like 10 to 12 uh, years old, uh, at least. Could be more than that, but at least you can say that is 10, 15 years old, uh, uh, as far as my memory is concerned. Now, uh, you need technology because, as I said, without technology, you will not be able to process large sums of data. So these are the three crucial elements, statistics, computer science, and technology. Let me just uh, move on to the fourth bit here. Very, very important uh, visualization. We are going to borrow a lot of uh, principles, a lot of ideas about visualization. Now, when we speak about visualization, uh, you can think of a bar chart, pie chart, 3D diagrams. You can uh, think of uh, very, very attractive uh, ways of visualization uh, using the ggplot or uh, some other package uh, of uh, different tools. Now, why do you visualize data? Remember, human mind, I've told this earlier, I'll say this again, human mind is not very efficient in processing large sums of data. And number two, human mind cannot understand uh, anything but two uh, ideas. One, human mind can understand images or pictures. Second, human mind can understand stories. So since if you are giving uh, a large table, uh, let's say you are trying to summarize uh, the COVID cases and you have 20, uh, you have uh, you have the information about uh, total uh, deaths, total recovered cases, total infected cases for all the states and union territories. That will be a humongous table. In today's day and age, nobody will have the patience or the time to read, to go through each and every number corresponding to each state or union territory. So a better and an easier strategy of conveying the benefits of data analysis to the last man on the street uh, would be through visualization. The same thing if you are able to show through a pie chart or a bar chart, that looks appealing and people can easily understand, people can easily comprehend what is going on, what is the story that uh, that is being uh, conveyed to the end user through your analysis. So visualization tools are the fourth and the most important element. I say most important element because there is no point applying a very, very complicated algorithm. But if you're not able to understand what is the output, if you're not able to take the benefits to the last man on the street, uh, the analysis, all the good work that you have done will die. And therefore, to put life into uh, these uh, numbers, we, we take the help of visualization. This is the fourth uh, most important tool. And the fifth uh, most important uh, element uh, as far as data science is concerned is operation research and mathematics. We all have heard of optimization techniques, simplex method, Charles uh, Begin method, PERT and CPM, transportation problem uh, and such things. Or when it comes to optimization and optimizing techniques, op uh, techniques which uh, uh, help you do optimization, OR and mathematics uh, become very, very crucial. So these are the five elements, statistics, computer science, technology, visualization, operation research, and mathematics. These are the five crucial elements which make up data science. Now you know as to why data science is very, very powerful because we are borrowing the principles, we are borrowing the ideas from each of these disciplines and we are applying it on the data, uh, sometimes to store the data, sometimes to analyze the data, to sometimes uh, report our findings to our manager, sometimes to deploy a predictive model and get the results and uh, take the output back inside and uh, uh, relearn the uh, relearn uh, and uh, relearn the model. So all these activities uh, happen in data science, and therefore we need different elements of science technology uh, to operationalize this. Now please keep this point. Keep, keep please keep these five ideas in mind because the next slide might slightly uh, be intimidating. But uh, I request you not to be intimidated with the slide. Next, the following slide. We need the understanding of this slide to make sense of the next slide. Now, uh, when you look at uh, uh, data science. Uh, 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 in the last slide, we've seen that there are five different elements. I know that this slide looks very, very busy, but don't, uh, uh, don't uh, be frightened with this. You can see five lines, and each of these lines uh, correspond to one of the disciplines. The first line corresponds to computer science. Second line uh, corresponds to data technology. Third, visualization. Fourth, mathematics, uh, operation research. And fifth one is statistics. And at the bottom of the slide, you can see uh, the evolution of these technologies with respect to time. Uh, from pre-1800s all the way up to uh, 2010, 
we have tried to uh, showcase as to how each of these disciplines have uh, evolved. Uh, the best way to understand this slide uh, would not be to go through the nitty gritties of each and every uh, discipline, but uh, to give you a high level perspective, uh, whether it's computer science or data technology or visualization or uh, mathematics or uh, statistics, compare them to streams of water. Each stream of uh, water begins at a particular point and after, uh, after, uh, uh, after uh, moving through a certain distance, it converges uh, at a point. Uh, let's say you have uh, one stream of water which starts at place A, moves to B, C, D, E. There's another stream of water which travels a different journey, but it meets the first stream at uh, the point E. The same goes with the uh, stream of water for uh, the third, fourth, and fifth. It, all these three uh, streams of water meets at a particular point where it becomes a river, right? The same way, each of these uh, disciplines uh, have uh, uh, gone through many modifications, changes. There are many researchers, scientists, statisticians, uh, uh, data, uh, data experts who have worked for centuries and uh, they have uh, brought it up uh, uh, to the shape uh, and complexion that it is of uh, today. So today when we talk about data science, data science is a amalgam, it is a combine of each of these disciplines and we are leveraging the principles, ideas of each of these disciplines to derive worth and value on the data. Remember what uh, Mukesh Ambani said, data is the new oil and intelligent data is the new petrol. Data by itself uh, has value, but it is uh, not very, very useful unless you process it. Uh, this, uh, to process data, we need technology. To operationalize this, we need the principles of machine learning, statistics, and uh, finally to report it, we need uh, to apply the principles of uh, visualization and such things. So each of these uh, uh, streams have uh, undergone many modifications, many, uh, uh, many <clears throat> levels of uh, uh, change and uh, that's the reason uh, why data science has become so very powerful as of today. Thank you so much uh, for watching this section. I'll see you in the next section.